Once I go into school, I'll be there for several hours. Morning everyone, welcome back to another dental school vlog. My name is Haley, if this is your first time watching, I'm a second year dental student at University of Michigan School of Dentistry. Fairly early right now, it's 6.55 in the morning. I'm just brewing some coffee, gonna eat breakfast and head into school. I'm gonna be there for a while today, so I figured it would be a good day to vlog. It's Wednesday and I'll show you everything as we go. No need to chit chat for too long. Today's vlog itself was not very chatty. Long day, I was in school the whole time, so I wasn't picking up the camera to update you all. I didn't even bring my camera to campus. I got there around 7.45 and left around 3ish. As you saw, I walked back then from lab. Lab is technically two to five, but because all of the machines in wet lab had long lines, I like saw zero point in sticking around to wait 40 minutes to do 10 minutes of work when I can just go tomorrow on Thursday while I'm going to be there anyways and do it then with no wait. <laughs> so I'm trying to be pretty time efficient these days. This was a treatment planning appointment this morning. I really love doing new patient exams, treatment planning appointments because that's like the foundation of what we need to do in clinic. Obviously your actual care is like the most important thing and your craft per se, but you really can't get to that step until you're very, very confident, proficient with intraoral, extraoral exams, using Axiom to enter everything, the steps of the appointment, diagnosing, discussing with faculty what treatments you think you want to do and how you're gonna do them and why you're gonna do them. And all of those things happen at treatment planning exams, so I love assisting those. It was really fun. I assisted my D4 vertical, which is basically whose patients I'll be taking over when she graduates in May. So when I start in the clinic in May as an incoming D3, and the person above me transitions into a D4, and this woman that I was assisting transitions to graduate, 
I will get those patients that she had, if that makes sense. So I'm gonna try to assist her a handful of more times during my D2 year, just off the chance that maybe I will get some of those patients returning back to see me. We also get random new patients assigned to us or you bring in friends and family or things just kind of get flipped around. But generally, patients stay with the same provider for the two years. And then, like I said, they get passed on to me. They'll be with me for two years. Then they'll be with whoever is incoming class of 2026, paired up as my D1 vertical when I am a D3 next year. So that's how clinic kind of works for us. So it was good to get to assist her for the first time. And like I said, I'm planning to try to do that some more. Let me just show you how the room and stuff is coming together. So again, this is the little workout nook. I have some rubbing alcohol coming to me and then I will hang up the plants up there with the command strips once I can clean the ceiling. Scratch map hung up, the big printout. I was gonna hang it up above my bed, but I honestly like it like visually better off to the side. And then above my bedside table, I just have two prints up. The left is from New Zealand and the right is from the art fair here in Ann Arbor. Then the living room, we got our table put in. Most exciting to me is the bar cart <laughs> finally assembled. I can link below anything that is still in stock. Like I know this is from Amazon, so it was the cart itself. All of these very trendy flat glasses, the cocktail glasses, cocktail recipe book, and then a few other things on here were like gifts from friends, and then this print is from Etsy, and I can link that as well as the frame from Michael's below. It's not glass though which I really don't like the glare, but glass frames are like $100, so I think I'm just gonna let it be. Then we got a little bit of fall decorations gone up. I just hung up these two paintings. Our lights are like multicolored LED <laughs> lights, so I need to fix the part that fell, but it goes on both sides, and they're just controlled by this little button over here but that's pretty much the living room updates i'm gonna end off tonight's footage i'm just literally sitting on zooms the rest of the night and then probably gonna watch some tv and go to bed because i had a very productive full day i got everything done and then some that i needed to like i ran out of things to work on for school while i was sitting in that study room up in the dental school so good place to be in and tomorrow we have two classes and then I'm assisting at two. I have a podcast at 11 and then after I assist, then I'm helping my mentee in SimLab as well as a few other D1s that I'm friends with and then I'm gonna stick around in SimLab myself to finish my stents and then I'll also be there to help out D1s if they do have questions while they're working. So that's kind of the plan for tomorrow and you'll get to see all of that in the next clips. Morning everyone, it is Thursday today. Pretty busy day, like I said, once I go into school, I'll be there for several hours because I'm gonna stay after hours, but it's almost time for our 9 a.m. live class for orthodontics. I've really been liking this class even though I don't wanna go into ortho. I think a lot of it is just really important information because we haven't learned about kids pretty much at all other than like tooth development and like the difference between crown shape in their pulp, but we haven't learned much else like radiographs or this class has us like figure out the dental age of a child. So very interesting stuff so far, but I want to show you all the morning coffee and breakfast and then we'll get into the morning. So same as yesterday, I've been using this pumpkin spice Starbucks coffee and it's really good. Like you can definitely notice the flavor and it tastes a lot or nearly the same as the one that they serve at their actual locations with a pretty good amount of almond milk and then this same dairy-free whipped cream and I'm gonna put some cinnamon on top. I wanna get pumpkin pie spice, but I haven't gone to the store yet. And then this is breakfast, sriracha, everything but the bagel seasoning, eggs, and strawberries. If anyone uses a frother, please comment or send me an Instagram message because when I try to froth a cup of almond milk, not a cup, it's like this much of it, it ends up not being that frothy. So definitely is giving me Starbucks vibes, so that is very exciting. I'm gonna log on to my laptop and watch a video while I eat, and then, like I said, class starts in about 20 minutes. Essentially, we have like clicker questions just for our own benefit, and throughout those, it's exercise questions that we need to write down the answer for them and submit them after class today, just for like participation, attendance, try our best kind of thing and that gives us some points so that's always great
Alrighty, podcast is done. It's noon right now, so I'm gonna make some lunch and then head over to the dental school. I have to assist at two, like I said, so I'm gonna try to get there by like 1.45. If I have time, I'm gonna pop into MDEN beforehand, which is like the campus apparel store to get something for my sister and her boyfriend because they are staying here with me this weekend to go to the football game. She went here for undergrad, so she's an alum. She's bringing him to see Ann Arbor and everything. And the podcast, though, is what I picked up the camera to tell you about. So I chatted with a dentist that is from a neighboring town near mine where my parents are and she owns a practice there. She graduated about 10 years ago and we had a really great conversation. Her name's Dr. Sheehan, Dr. Amanda Sheehan, and I will put the episode link below if it's up by the time this goes up, but I don't think it will be. I don't think it'll be up until like November, so make sure you're following the Instagram for a dental download podcast and just follow it on Apple or Spotify, wherever you listen. What was cool about it is she's probably going to come speak to our AAWD, American Association for Women Dentists chapter here. She's involved in like the Oakland County chapter of that as well as Academy of General Dentistry, AGD, Oakland County, and Michigan divisions, if you will, the state of Michigan, not my university. <laughs> so she mentioned that they have like monthly or bi-monthly meetings and like dental students can go. So she mentioned I should come to those and I think that's great because the more I'm growing up, if you will, and getting closer to graduation, I really do think that I would love to work generally in the area that I did come from, like somewhere in Oakland County, I think would be amazing. So I'm excited to hopefully attend some of those meetings this semester. I'll update you all if I ever am going or do go. Might not be in a vlog though, might just be on Instagram, so make sure you're following me there about how it goes, if it was awkward, if it was amazing, just to make connections and whether or not people I meet want to hire me one day or work out a deal to sell their practice, it's still just more people to know that might know other people that might be able to help me. Mostly I'll be learning from them and then can kind of pay it forward down the line is kind of my thought process. But I will do some clips of the rest of Thursday on my phone and put them in now for you guys. Currently in Panera posting some Instagram stories for you guys. She's got soup and salad and I'll be logging on for the student council meeting in a minute here and then I'll go back into school to do some lab stuff. It is Friday today. I didn't film anything when I got back from school yesterday around 7.45 p.m. I showed you a little bit of what I did in after hours. I pretty much just stayed to help some D1s that I'm friends with, give them some feedback on their class one preps, which is the first project and practical that they're working on. And I finished my stents for our sim lab class. I was gonna stay to do a crown prep like I mentioned, but I was pretty tired and we technically don't start them till Monday, so I figured I don't need to work ahead. My assisting was pretty good. Definitely, like I won't lie, I didn't learn as much as I usually do because I'm missing a lot of foundational knowledge when it comes to dentures, because we're just now starting dentures this semester. We've only had one class so far, today is our second class. So when you don't know anything, it's really hard to pick up information. But I did learn a little bit. I have a better understanding of border molding and I have a better understanding of relief areas. I'm still not very clear on how exactly you can visualize or feel undercuts because those are something you also adjust for when you're doing your dentures before you take your impressions. Today in our actual class, we are working on making a maxillary and mandibular custom tray for a completely edentulous patient. Edentulous just means missing teeth. So if they're missing all of their teeth, they would get a complete denture. My assisting yesterday, it was a complete upper denture and then a removable partial denture for the bottom because they had a few anterior teeth still there. I will put in a couple clips now from lab.
everything for this vlog. I hope you all enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one. Be sure to subscribe, follow my Instagram, and keep up with everything going on with me in dental school. Bye.